Okay, good. Let's keep going then. World leaders react to the siege of the capital. CNN uh, speaks to Trump supporters about Trump's lies. Do oh, you think this, that was Trump a, will have this was another Donny O'Sullivan video. An older Donny O'Sullivan video from Dalton, Georgia that we never actually ended up watching. So let's take a look at Donny O'Sullivan once again risking his life talking to the Georgians about what Georgians believe is happening in the election. Eventually Can accept that, that Biden is the next no, president. No, Biden is not the next Biden president. Biden isn't. Trump is the next president. I'm going to the inauguration for Trump. I've booked it before the election because I have faith he's going to be there and he's going to be do he's going to be elected. So he'll be president for two more weeks. No, he will be president till 2024. <laughs> Practically every day since the election, new supposed evidence purporting to prove Joe Biden did not win circulates in the social media bubble Trump and his supporters live in. Hello, Georgia. By the way, there's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Two months since election day and just two weeks to Biden's inauguration, many are still refusing to accept reality. Stop that! Missed it? What did I miss? Oh, there he is! Motherfucking, uh, the, the Q, the, the QAnon Viking, the, the Antifa. Biden did not win. Dude, these guys have, like, the funniest thing is, I've said this before, but, like, Trump support is, like, like a multi-level marketing scheme. Like, a lot of people have literally made it their careers like they like trump has groupies i don't know what they do i don't know how they survive do they all have like patreons or something but like there are so many of them that uh, that go to every rally like the what is it the 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 one black guy uh who's like a fucking crazy black israelite dude you got that guy you got the dude who always wears the the maga wall as a suit you got, like, these are characters. Michael the Black Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael the Black Man. His name is literally Michael the Black Man. Talk about knowing your audience, by the way. He's like, come on, you're going to know me as the one black guy who's everywhere. So I might as well call myself Michael the Black Man. You got the QAnon shaman. Like, they literally travel the country. I don't know what they do. I don't know how they make money. Like, how are they... How are they doing this? Like, does someone pay for their flights? Like, I don't fucking get it. The election new supposed evidence purporting to prove Joe Biden did not win circulates in the social media bubble Trump and his supporters live in. Hello, Georgia, by the way. There's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Two months since election day and just two weeks to Biden's inauguration, many are still refusing to accept oh, okay, reality. Man. Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Obviously, Trump is, is saying that the election was stolen from him in here in Georgia. Doesn't trust the uh, Republican election officials here. Does that cause a problem or an issue for trust in this week's Senate election? Uh, yes, I think it has for several people. Yeah. Uh, people are not, uh, have been demoralized and um, have actually told me that they um, do not want to vote because they feel like their vote isn't going to count. It must be concerning for you when you're hearing from Trump supporters, Republican voters saying, I don't know if I'll even vote this week. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Most of them, after we talk to them, have voted. I've spent um, a lot of time last week calling people up and, mm. and uh, the people who first said they, they weren't going to vote, after I spoke to them, they are going to vote. In Georgia, Republicans run the elections, right? Secretary yes. of State, all that. They've said they've investigated, investigated, investigated. They've counted three or four times. Right. And they said Biden has still won. Do you accept that? No. Not all Republicans are good people just because they're yeah. Republicans. Trump is, keeps saying that he didn't actually lose, that the election was stolen. Do you think it's just time for him to, to give up and, and let Biden yeah. take over? Step up and say, let's walk away. Yeah. Let, it, let him do his job, yeah. You're one, of the, you're one of the only people today I've spoken to here who said that. But why do you think that's important? Because it's showing who's the better person. You know, if you're going to continue fighting, what's the use? I mean, you know, if you've already lost it, 
let it go. Wait till next term. That a rare opinion at this Trump rally. Also rare, but worrying, talk of civil war. Will you accept Joe Biden? We gotta president? go, we no, gotta go. He'll never be it my hurt. president. Okay. But you know, you accept that he's gonna be inaugurated. No, I don't. I mean, how could that change at this point? Well, it could be a civil war, you never know. You don't actually want a civil war, do you? I don't. We don't Show want us the voting machines, show us the ballots. Show us that- Bitch, what are you gonna do with that? Like, do you even know how this shit works? Dog, half of the reason why you literally think there's some fuckery happened is because you don't know how this process works and you watched footage of people who were counting ballots in the most normal way possible over like scary music and you scared yourself into thinking that some crazy thing was happening. Oh, well, why were they taking the ballots out? Correcting it and then putting it back in the machine. I don't know, maybe because the machine didn't fucking read it correctly. Like, you literally do not need more information. You need less information, okay? Because more information leads you to believe that just because you don't understand how to process it, leads you to believe in wrong things, okay? Like, there is too much fucking transparency if you, if you ask me. I'm serious, dude. These motherfuckers literally see more transparency, see more information, and they scare themselves into thinking like, oh, some, some bad is happening. It's like, no, that's just normal. Just think it through, you dumb fuck. Think it fucking through. It's just like when there were cameras placed everywhere during the vote counting process. And when those cameras panned over to the laptop showing like 1900 or whatever, which is the, the, the default fucking date that you staple into like every you plug into every single like empty uh, uh like what what is it called for for excel and shit yeah the 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 1900 like default placeholder that you put okay before you like plug in the actual numbers and you see that on the spreadsheet and you think oh they're fucking lying no one born in 1900 would be able to fucking vote it's like no you dumb fuck like you saw that you didn't actually further inquire and now you think that like people who were born in 1900 were voting illegally in the uh, election like it's so stupid i saw that and the first question i had was well that's kind of weird i wonder i wonder if it's just like a number that they're plugging in there as a placeholder turns out i was fucking right Like, I don't know how to deal with these people, man. But, like, what I do know is seeing the, the Dominion voting machines with your fucking hog brain is not going to fix the problem. Okay? The problem is that you have a terminal hog brain. Okay? You are clinically hog-like. So, there is no way to resuscitate you. There is no way to save you. Your brain is broken, brother. Just shut up and, and try to enjoy yourself and live out your days. Just don't get involved in politics, okay? Just fucking vote Republican if you want to, but like, just shut the fuck up. It's nuts. Capitol Police Chief gone same day as the next projected attack. Yes. Hog hands won't know what to do. Can't show hog anything. We'll still say civil war. Hog this is bored is since Iraq war. I will never accept another vote again. Ever. It's just this opinion piece. Yikes. What is this? The cure for Trumpism? Reaganism? Okay, dude. So the cure for Trumpism is more Trumpism. But like an older variant of Trumpism that is partially responsible for Trumpism to, be, to begin with. Yeah, no thanks, dumb fuck. Yeah, I know the article that Matt Gates cited in Congress uh, issued a correction and took the article down. AOC's going for Cruz on Twitter. Isn't this you? Your campaign sent out this fundraising message? Oh, this is true. 
AOC, you are a liar. Leading a debate in the Senate on ensuring election integrity is doing our jobs and is in no way responsible for the despicable terrorists who attacked the Capitol yesterday. And sorry, I ain't going anywhere when you and your socialist buddies try to massively raise taxes, when you try to pass the Green New Deal and destroy millions of jobs, when you push for amnesty, when you try to pack the Supreme Court and activists with activists that undermine our constitutional rights, I will fight at every step and stand with the people. So AOC fucking flipped it and said, this you, oh, you accuse me of lying? Isn't this you? Your campaign sent out this fundraising message as people were sieging the Capitol. You claim to be leading the fight to reject electors. Clashes start around 1.20 p.m. This message was sent after the Capitol was breached. Ted Cruz here. I'm late in the fight to reject electors from key states unless there is an emergency audit of the election results. Will you stand with me? Your complete refusal to acknowledge any of the above harm, wrongdoing, or even misjudgment, and your lack of any self-reflection on how these acts contributed to yesterday's chaos is alarming. It is unbecoming of any elected official and makes you unfit to uh, unfit for the office you occupy. It's true, but it doesn't matter because this plays well for Ted Cruz's scumbag, uh, for all of his scumbag actions. It doesn't matter to the hogs that he literally fucking throws them aside or even calls them terrorists or any number of shit like that. None of that matters because those hogs are too stupid to recognize that they are being called terrorists while simultaneously they're being fucking milked for any ounce of fucking uh, uh, monetary support that they can offer down. him. So, again, it's they're too stupid to know that they're being duped, okay? You can't fucking... You can't convince the hogs that uh, uh, people are fucking them over. They're so easy to manipulate. Holy shit. Anyway, I gotta pee. I'll, I'm gonna run an ad at now the middle the of the hour, hour every hour, 60 second ad break. Or cheering on if you would no longer want to see the ads, if you'd want to have an ad free broadcasting experience, ladies and gentlemen, middle of the hour every hour, 60 second ad break is here upon us. I gotta go pee, but if you'd no longer want to see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Also, don't forget at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna be doing some role playing at the Rust role play server. Very excited for that, ladies and gentlemen, with all of your top favorite content creators. Uh, and I won't be doing Donnie O'Sullivan, but instead I'll actually be doing an accent for uh, uh, Hank Pecker. That's why I'm wearing a bolo tie today. I'm dressed up for it. Anyway, uh, if you want to avoid the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for free with a Twitch Prime, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be role-playing later. Here's the ad break right now speech whether a prosecutor feels they have a strong enough case not just to get an indictment but try this case to a jury and prove it beyond a reasonable doubt they are marching through now in light of the violence at the capitol a lot of people are talking about potential federal crimes a lot of these federal crimes are found in a very specific chapter chapter 115 of title 18 that covers treason seditious activities and subversive conduct Take, for example, section 2384, seditious conspiracy. If two or more persons conspire to overthrow the government or oppose it by force or even possess any property of the United States, they violate the seditious conspiracy law. But there has to be an agreement, a conspiracy. Idle chatter isn't enough. Section 2385, also called the Smith Act, criminalizes advocating the overthrow of the U.S. government. This law was challenged in the Supreme Court over half a century ago as violating the First Amendment. But the Supreme Court held that this statute, even though it criminalizes pure speech, does not violate the First Amendment of the Constitution. The First Amendment is not and has never been an absolute freedom. Sometimes even pure speech alone can be criminal. President-elect Joe Biden announcing Merrick Garland as his pick for attorney general this afternoon. Biden starting that event with some strong words for the president and the Capitol Hill rioters he called thugs. NBC News correspondent Mike Memoli in Wilmington, Delaware. Mike, let's start with Joe Biden's message to the Okay. Um, anyway, we did the top of the hour. Wolf Blitzer base. Wolf Blitzer and pro-Trump rioters. Wait, what? He actually showed feeling? If they broke windows, if they stormed, they will be arrested. If they broke windows, if they stormed the floor of the U.S. Senate, the House of Representatives, they will go. They will be uh, going to jail. 
many of them for what they are doing right now. They probably are too stupid to know that they are heading for jail at some point down the road. Uh, Brian Tyler, they will be. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's great, dude. That's actually fucking funny because Wolf Blitzer is literally a fucking robot created by artificial intelligence to to just cover the news in the most objective newsman way possible. So they broke him. They literally broke him, dude. A White House official says real Donald Trump will release another video tonight with a theme of national unity. Oh, nice. Can't wait for that one. Clearly, the answer to yesterday's failure is to defund the Capitol Police. Instead, hire a squad of social service providers to tackle the real root cause of the violence. Yeah, um, I have one answer to Matthew Iglesias, okay? By the way, while I was peeing, Sasha Baron Cohen DM'd me, and I freaked the fuck out thinking that it was actually him, but I think it was just his social media manager or something. I was, um, like a long ass fucking message asking me to retweet something. And I did immediately, but my response is, OMG, is this actually you or an intern or a social media manager? I probably shouldn't have done that, but. Sold out? No, it's about fucking. I don't know what it is even about. I think it's like about. Oh, shut up. Okay, I'm not done yet. I, I wanted to show you something about Matthew Iglesias. I have a counter to what Matthew Iglesias said. Okay. My friend sent this to me. And I need to share it with you guys as well. Hold on. Just wait. It's literally worth it. It's actually worth it. Hold on one second. Hold on. So... Wait, where's the tweet from him? Fuck, I lost the tweet. Oh, here it is. Um, Matthew Iglesias tweeted, Clearly the answer to yesterday's failures is to defund the Capitol Police and instead hire a squad of social service providers to tackle the real root cause of the violence. Which, by the way, low-key, yes. But... This is my answer to Matthew Iglesias. It was worth it. I told you it was worth it. Told you. Let me see if I can save this and reply this to him. What is it fucking downloaded as a JPEG small file? Bitch, just download it as a regular. Hold on, I need to screenshot this shit. One second. Hold on. This is very important stuff, folks. Very important stuff happening. There it is. Quote tweet.
I did it. Yeah, I did use Windows Shift uh, S. Do you watch porn on this computer? Or you have a special porn computer? <clears throat> I do. Or, wait, what? Why did I say I do? I don't watch porn on this computer. Why did I say I do? Dude, okay. I think the, the fucking uh, endless... I have a fap top. Like, I, I, I literally very famously have a fap top that I used to, uh, to, to fap. It was very strange that I said, I do. I don't know why I said that. I think it's because, like, dude, I, I think I'm losing it a little bit, like, straight up. I think I might be losing it just a little bit. 15 hours, uh, two days in a row. Not good. Okay. All right, so. Something that we need to do. Losing a piece of it. Yesterday's shit show. Why would I? Why would I fucking lie about uh, uh, having a or jerking off on my fab top instead of my regular computer when I admit that I have a laptop designated specifically for jerking off, which is way more degenerate. It's literally more degenerate to have a laptop dedicated to and, and, and calling it a fab top on top of everything else. Why would I... This gives Facebook tag Zuck the most power. He can shut the president up, off. He can shut any of us up and off. I mean, they're kind of right. It is scary. Like, thinking about how much power uh, uh, corporations have, and that are, like, overall unaccountable. Like, that shit is low-key terrifying. I don't like it. 